for your homework task, you had to create a scratch program showing two traffic lights. These traffic lights are at an intersection. So this means that when one traffic light is green or yellow, the other traffic light must always be red. This way an accident can be avoided. So this is a very good outline of what you need to do and you can use this as a guide to create your Scratch program. So now to Scratch. In Scratch we can start by searching for traffic lights. You should have done this in class but if not you can go to Google and just look for traffic lights in images. and this one looks suitable so we'll make it bigger and then you can do a screenshot you want to screenshot only a section of the screen so that means command shift and 4 hold command shift and 4 down together highlight the section you want so I'll start with the red section and now highlight the green section and finally highlight the yellow section okay so I've got my free screenshots I can go back to scratch and I can go to costumes now I don't need the cat so instead I'm going to upload the correct sprite when you press command shift and 4 to do a screenshot the screenshots automatically go into your desktop so I can see them right here so I'll select them and I'll open them and now I can get rid of the cat so my red, my yellow, and my green light. Now actually I want two traffic lights. So I am also going to make a new s duplicate this sprite. Now you can actually click on it. Not right, not a left click, but a right click. And then you can just do duplicate and you've got two of the same. So one over here and one over here. And then it's just a cat matter of making your script. So you go to when green flag clicked and then you can go to looks and here is where you can get your costumes. Now before I continue it's a good idea to rename the costumes just because it's the name currently is screenshot which is a bit confusing. So we can call this one red, this one yellow and this one green. and then the same over here okay and then when that is done I can go and it's a lot easier you can see here for me to select so I can if you look back at the diagram we need to light number one needs to start on red and we can actually name our sprites as well rather than sprite 1 and 2 I might call light them set A and set B that will make it easier okay so I'll rename this sprite and this one will be set A and I'll go back and I'll rename this one you click on info and this one will be set B okay and go back and so set A should first show red and if we follow the process set A should set stay red for quite a while because it's going to be red when set B is green and yellow so we can choose wait here and we can say wait five seconds we can duplicate this and then we can stay on red for another five seconds then we need to change to green and yellow so that's just a case of duplicating once again but changing this to green and changing that to yellow now because this is a traffic light it should forever go it should continue on and on and on so we can choose the forever loop and put it around there and if we stop and start 
you can see it will stay red for 10 seconds after which it will switch to green it will stay green for 5 seconds after which it will switch to yellow for 5 seconds and finally back to red now a little trick you can do you can see my traffic lights B have got no program on them because I've only done A but I can actually just steal this and drag it down here and then when I'm on top of set B I can let go of my script and then it will actually put set B the script inside set B as well but of course this is not going to work because if I then go stop and start you can see they are red at the same time and even worse our traffic lights will also be green at the same time which will surely cause an accident so we need to change our set B and we can look over here to see how set B should be so first it's green for five seconds then yellow for five seconds then red for five seconds the reverse of set A so that's easy enough to change we can simply go here and change it to green first yellow second and then red now if we stop and we start you can see our lights should never ever be red at the same time and more importantly our lights should never be green at the same time now you can see here there's a problem because they are actually both green at the same time so that means I've got to double check my program aha I see the problem so this one should be red and this one should be red okay we'll stop and start again so red and green yellow and red green and red yellow and red so it's working exactly as it should be they are never green at the same time now there's a few things I would like you to try as an extension if this is complete now remember the main piece of homework is simply to do this so if you've done this this is great but if you would like team points or you would simply like to learn more maybe you should look at putting in a broadcast so you can actually find the broadcast if you go to events you can see there's a broadcast what the broadcast will do is it will send a message from one sprite to another sprite so that's a way in which you could do the same thing I've just done but it will actually get the lights to communicate so you're welcome to try and make the same program just like we have over here using broadcasts and an even more challenging extension could be you might like to make traffic lights and an intersection and I can give you an example of what I mean by that um, over here in scratch so you can see here I have got an intersection and I've got cars moving and the cars should never ever go at the same time if I've set it up correctly so maybe you can try something like that you can see my cars are not obeying the law so hopefully you will have be able to create a more effective program if you can complete a working version of this then that will certainly get you a lot of team points okay good luck with this task and remember the minimum expectation you must at least do something like this